Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Lico August Daily Challenge, when it loads anyway. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Why is my internet slow? Is it my computer? Man, all, all this money, all this technology, and it's just having fun being slow. What is running in my background? Hmm. All right, in any case, um, let me keep force quit some stuff. Uh, today's farm is 95 unique binary search trees too. Given an integer and return all structurally unique BSTs, binary search trees. Uh, it's kind of funny that they uh, they only use this acronym acronym once and and they defined it. So so actually using this acronym makes the problem statement longer. But it's not an important detail, but it is true. Uh, they didn't even use it in the uh, title. Anyway, which has exactly n nodes and unique values from 1 to n. Return the answer in any order. Um, oh, it's, a, it's a, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah. I, mean, I think this is um, pretty straightforward in a way. Um, you know, this is recursion. I guess we've been doing recursion all week. Uh, but this is a ready. Uh, I mean, I, I, if you if you've been on my channel enough times, you, uh, and apparently you know, I, I this is one of my favorite sequences back back in the day, uh, and apparently it is also one of uh, Lead Code's favorite sequences of the day, which is the Caroline sequence. Of course, in this particular problem, you have to do more than you have to do more than. Um, you have to do more than just generate the number of uh, um, trees. You have to actually generate the trees. But the reason why this this is a very common uh, number or sequence is because it is a very simple to define sequence of uh, divide and conquer recursively, right? The idea is that okay, well, look, as choose the 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 uh, yeah. So let, let's kind of do that. that Basically, the idea is that, okay, given n, uh, let's just say construct, right? Uh, do, 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 how do we want to say it? <clears throat> uh, basically, we, we will start from, uh, let's say lower, upper, I don't know, left, right. I, will, I usually go left, right, just because in my mind, I, I, I uh, and lower right is probably the worst though. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll, I'll name it slightly better this time. And of course, this is basically uh, mm, return all trees um, with the numbers between low and upper inclusively. Right? There, there are actually a couple of ways you can and you can actually think about this. Um, you may not need to do it this way because you can also think of it as um, just a number of lower or upper minus lower plus one number of nodes and maybe like the caller kind of some math there um it doesn't really matter to be frank uh there i mean or like you know there are a couple of ways to do, do these is what i'm saying um i i think right now i'm just uh like you know like any given day i, I might want to do something really f different so i don't know but anyway if lower is equal to upper then we only have one node right so then we can return it uh, let's just say we return a list of one node of uh, y u is equal to lower, right? And that's it. Otherwise, then we brute force the top node uh, or the root of this new tree. So then now for I don't know, x in range of lower to upper plus one inclusively, uh, or well, I'm mean exclusively. So that's how we get lower and upper inclusively. So now x is the current node, right? So so uh and we also want to return an array right so uh yeah so then now we have two set of things right we have the left node which is construct lower to x minus one and then we have the right right uh, uh subtree so that's you know x plus one upper and maybe we'll actually do something we'll, we'll i mean in theory you can also add an if statement here just to make sure that it's within bounds but maybe it's just a little bit easier if yeah wait hmm 
Yeah, if you do something like this, return to the do, do. But then maybe I'm like off by one somewhere. Because then now if you do a Cartesian product against um, an empty list, it's going to be sad times. Hmm. But maybe that's fine. Maybe that's just part of. Hmm. It's way awkward though, actually. Hmm. Like, do we want to return this? Would that like mess us up? Ah, uh, well, I guess we'll, let's stay with this, uh, and then we'll we'll see <laughs> how it uh, comes back to haunt me later. But okay, so then now it's just basically for I don't know uh, variable name in left for um, yeah again this is Cartesian product right. So then now we basically enter that a pen. Oops. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Uh, tree node where the value is equal to x, uh, left is equal to l, right is equal to r, and I think we should be good. Uh, I mean, there's only eight possibilities, so we might as well just, uh, you know, put them out. And it looks good. Running time is good, so we're good. So let's give it some minute. Uh, yeah. So there are a couple of things, right? Um, so what is the advantage of this versus the other? Uh, what I said about doing construction, where you just given construct given n nodes, right? Well, given n nodes, then you are able to actually do memorization because now you can reuse it and then just like do some numbers there. Um, in theory, anyway, at least in terms of um, creating the structure of it. The, the thing is that you're doing very close to the bone anyway. So, and what I mean by that is that your output is going to be very close to your lower bound uh, or the lower bound or the output is the lower bound, but you're doing your, your complexity is very close to your lower bound. Then it, it you know, uh, you don't gain that much there because you still have to copy it. It's for this particular problem. You have to copy the memory over to recreate anyway, because for example, if you because the idea there is that, okay, so let's say the, le the left has three nodes, the, le the right has four nodes, but then now you have to renumber all the nodes on the right and as well as create additional memory for them, right? So you still have to kind of create new things anyway. Um, these are things that I, I, I think about like immediately, but I guess I didn't really talk about it until now, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that's really the the biggest thing. Um, you do get memorization, and you do get like that structure. And of course, if you if you, all you have to do is return a count, then that would be way easier because then you don't have to deal with all this memory stuff. But for this one, it it makes this slightly cleaner to to write, even though yeah, I don't know. Uh, the none part is a little bit awkward for sure because we set it to none in, in that way, um, and I I don't know. Because I think it technically would maybe fail for if n is equal to zero, which is not part of the input, because then in theory, we would just return an array with one element of, with that element being none versus just an empty array. But, you know, I, I don't know, it is what it is. Maybe you could special case it even if there was an n is equal to zero. Uh, and I, I've been kind of a little bit sloppy late. I mean, today was intentional, but I have been a little bit sloppy during contests lately, so I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Like, uh, this is recursion that is very basic, uh, or I mean, it's not very basic, obviously, but it is one step removed from very basic. This is just divide and conquer. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess so, yeah. So definitely, you know, it, it comes into play in in a couple of, in a number of ways right so so definitely be familiar uh and yeah um that's all i have for this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye